a lot of pace, and I hope you get that back in the game, but in the fourth quarter, you know, there was a lack of execution. Um, do you think that playing faster in those moments can help you down the stretch? I mean, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what our dynamic of our team is uh, supposed to be, you know. Um, we're a smaller team, and um, especially on tonight, they played, you know, two bigs, so uh, we knew we were going to be um, – at a disadvantage on the rebound. So we knew that we wanted to push the ball and we made an emphasis at halftime of uh, doing that. And, you know, we just kind of lost that there in the fourth. Jonathan Fagan. Jason, what do you think sort of gets you guys out of your game and out of the execution in those late game minutes, the last six minutes of, of the close games that you've had? Um. You know, that's kind of a tough question, you know. Um, I know that the whole team's trying to win. We're trying to, you know, do do the best we can to, you know, bring what the team needs to the table. Um, right now, we just got to figure out um, how to maintain uh, what you've seen, in the, you know, the first, you know, in the last few games, whether it's, you know, the first three quarters we play well or, you know, we have a, a quarter where we play well. We just got to continue to um, try to play a whole game um, the right way. And um, like I said, you've seen spurts of it. You saw spurts of it tonight. We just got to um, lock in and execute as a team of doing that for the entire game, especially in the fourth quarter. Thank you. Adam Spolin. How did things change for you when it's to start the second half here on the floor with Christian and Kelly? Yeah, um, I think, you know, we haven't had that lineup in a lot. And um, one has been a, a learning opportunity for me um, because I haven't really been in that, in that spot uh, this year. But also, um, it makes them make an option on if they're going to put a, you know, bigger guy on me or they're going to have a smaller guy on one of those guys. So there's more mismatches um, available on the floor. Um, and... I got to go back and look at it. I don't know what our plus minus or how we were out there with that unit, but, um, you know, I, uh, I think we, you know, I felt comfortable. I definitely felt comfortable, and I think they did as well. Were you at all, I don't know, apprehensive about that when when, it, when he first put that lineup out there, about feeling comfortable? Um, no. Nah, um, like I said, I think I'm a pretty versatile player. There's been times where I've, had to play multiple positions. So um, I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. It was just one of those, um, you know, circumstances where I was in a position that I'm usually not in, but doesn't mean I can, can't necessarily play it. And, um, you know, I had confidence in my shot today and those guys, you know, kept passing it to me. And um, I, I was able to knock a few down. Brian Bearfield. Um, Jay Sean, following up on that, you're talking about your versatility, you also were able to play with that second unit and you all played at a, a different pace. Just what, how do you get yourself prepared to be able to switch paces like that? Um, I don't know. It's just the feel of the game. Uh, I think Coach Silas did a great, like I said, a great job at halftime putting emphasis on put, moving the ball. You know, they were a bigger group. They had a bigger lineup out there, so – um, ultimately, ultimately, we're going to be a faster team. And, um, you know, I think we did a great job of that because they stopped going uh, with that bigger lineup there uh, for a little bit. So, I mean, that, that just plays into our uh, strengths, and that's the way um, we're supposed to play. And I think um, we did a great job coming out um, doing that in the second half. Uh, 